Today has been the first day, honestly, that I have been taken back by the fact that I have so much gray hair. It is something. I have been trying to record this video for two days now. Stuff is going down at my house and you all know how when one thing happens, it has like a chain reaction event. Well, that is what has been going on in my house since yesterday morning. And let me tell you what's going on and why I have not been able to record this video. Yesterday morning, Brecken got up for school. She has to leave our house at 7 a.m. And she went outside to start her car. It is freezing cold. Car wouldn't start. She comes inside and tells me my car won't start. And as we're standing there discussing what to do because I have to be somewhere, we realize her best friend, which lives next door, is pulling out of her driveway. So Brecken runs outside, jumps in Elizabeth's car, and off they go to school. So all is well. She makes it to school on time. So I come inside and I tell Randy, who's in the shower, Brecken's car wouldn't start. Like, what are we going to do? She rode with Elizabeth to school. He said, well, there's nothing I can do about it right now. I've got to go to work. So we're standing there having this conversation and the electricity goes out in our house. Turns out there is a huge, like, system-wide power outage in our entire little community is without electricity for several hours. Well, in the meantime, I have to be somewhere. I have a hair appointment with Betsy at 9.30 in the morning. So I throw on some clothes, it's freezing cold, and I get to Betsy's. See? This is exactly why I cannot get a video done. And the point of this video is actually my haircut and what went on at Betsy's, what we did to my hair. But let me keep going with my chain reaction. So Brecken gets home from school, Randy jumps her car, we get it started, and off Brecken goes to a friend's house because she had something super important to do. And I'm gonna share that with you all in a different video. But we eat dinner out because we're just, anyway, we ate out. Get home and Randy starts not feeling well. He starts getting this really bad, like migraine headache. And as the night went on, I could tell it was getting worse and worse. He has ice packs on his head. He had an ice pack on the back of his neck. He's laying on the couch and the night is just going quickly. And so when he gets really, really bad headaches, I can normally rub his feet and make the headache go away. So it's 10 or 10.30 last night, I'm rubbing his feet and we decide to go to bed, like just that's it. We get up this morning, he says his head is fine, Brecken goes out to go to school again and the car won't start again. So I'm gonna have to take the car to get a new battery but in the meantime, she's got to get to school, can't ride with the neighbor because they have like college classes on a different schedule in the afternoons on Tuesdays. So she takes my car. So I am stuck at home. This is seven o'clock in the morning. I had a bunch of t-shirt orders that I had to get out this morning before my mailman shows up. And if you're interested in how I package and ship the orders, check out my other video. I'm gonna link it right up here. But anyway, so I had to get all of these orders out. So I go upstairs to get on my online system and the online system is down. They are having a server problem. I'm on a like time schedule because my mailman is normally here by like 10, 30, 11 o'clock in the morning. And I have to have these orders ready to ship so that I can hand to him when he shows up. Anyway, so while I'm waiting for the online order system to come up, I'm upstairs, which is where my office is and where the girls' bedrooms are. I go into their bathroom. It is so disgusting that I don't even want to use the bathroom in there. So while I'm waiting on my online order system to come up, I decided I'm gonna clean the girls' bathroom. So. 
I had this video that I still need to record about my hair. I figure, okay, I'm gonna jump in the shower, I'm gonna get clean so that I can do the video about my hair because I wanna show you all what we did with my hair and what I discovered when I got a haircut yesterday. So I get in the shower and my husband texts me, he's coming home for lunch. Great, fine. So that even shushes up my schedule even faster. So I have my shower, I'm dressed, my hair's still kind of wet, and we're sitting there eating, and he, I don't know why I didn't think about this, but he's going to start the car while he's home for lunch. But while the car is started, I have to take it to the place to get a new battery right then. So he jumps the car, I have to take off to go get the battery changed. So still, no video. I have not recorded a single thing. Randy starts the car. I figure, you know what? I can record this video sitting anywhere. So I'm gonna go get the, the go to the battery change in place. And while they're changing the battery, I'm gonna sit in the little office. There's probably not anybody in there and I'm gonna record the intro to this video. So I get there and of course there is a lady in the little waiting room. So I, I can't record my video. But the place where we go that does all the maintenance on our cars has a little outdoor sitting area. And of course in the summer, that's where everybody hangs out, not inside. But the sun was out. It's about, I don't know, 40 degrees here today. And I decided, you know what? As long as the sun is out, I've got my coat on. I'm gonna go set up my little tripod at this little um, like table and chair area and I'm just gonna record my video there because I can talk about my hair anywhere. So I get everything set up and great. I start recording the video and I'm about a minute into my video and up pulls a car that needs an oil change. The little lady decides she needs to come over where I'm sitting and sit with me. I'm freezing. I decided I'd had enough. I'm going inside. I'm over it, y'all. Arkin's car is done. We've got a new battery, $200 later, and I'm home. So this video has got to happen today because I have got to tell y'all about my hair. So I am set up in the bathroom. Hopefully nobody will disturb me. And I want to tell you the reason I'm filming this video. I got a haircut yesterday and I went into Betsy and I said to her, there are some sections of my hair that are super long right here in my face and I have had it with seeing the colored hair. I've really been shocked at how dark the hair coming out of like the very front is. It's almost like my natural black color. It's just my temples are white. So we decided to go in and take this hair and cut off, like it was really long. We cut off a lot of the color and I didn't realize how short we cut it because it was wet and we were just picking up pieces and cutting out color, basically. Um, but it was just some of this stuff around my face. I had a bunch of hair kind of accumulated right there and a big glob of just color. We just started getting the scissors and cutting off pieces of color. I didn't realize what all we had done until I took my shower this morning and the whole time I'm drying my hair, I'm thinking, oh my gosh, y'all, I have got gray hair. Let me turn around and show you the back of my head. not know I had that much gray hair in the back of my head. It was covered up by so much color. I really didn't know that that much gray hair was showing. And the whole time I'm drying my hair, I'm thinking, I have got gray hair. Like it just hit me like a ton of bricks. I have gray hair. Like I have gray hair. And because I'm looking at myself like this most of the time, I see the gray, I see the super white right there, fine. But the middle, y'all like look, this is coming in dark. It's just the temples and I get little peaks in here of gray, but I guess because I had so much chunk, like look, it's like I have a line 
of all of this dark. And so when I look at myself, yes, I see the gray, but not a ton of the gray. And when I turned around and looked at the back of my head and saw how much gray hair I had, it is getting real. The gray hair happening has hit me like no other today. Wow. And what I want to know from you, if you're going through the process of going gray or you're already finished with the process, was there a moment for you when you actually got hit with a ton of bricks that you have gray hair? I want to know what was that moment for you because my moment is right now. It is today when I was drying my hair and I stood up and I looked at the back of my hair in the mirror and I realized, oh my gosh, I have gray hair. I don't know about it, just don't know about it. But anyway, there it is. So I'm hoping my day goes a lot better now that I'm home. I do not plan on leaving the house again today. So I got a lot to do. I hope you all have a good day, a day that is better than my day has been so far. So I will see you later. And